The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. I find that so many people confuse forgiveness of the heart with how they feel. And forgiving somebody has absolutely nothing to do with how you feel. Forgiveness is an act of the will. It's an act of the will. It doesn't have to feel good, you just have to do it. And so what does that look like? Well, there's a little prayer that I formulated that I help people through when they have a hard time forgiving somebody. It goes like this. In the name of Jesus, I forgive whoever it is for everything they said, for everything they did, for everything they failed to say and everything they failed to do that hurt me. And I set them free and I turn them over to Jesus for him to do it as he pleases. Amen. That's forgiveness. Now the hurt feelings come from the trauma that we've all experienced by being hurt. So when you forgive somebody, it's okay to go to the Lord and say, heal my, heal my pain, heal my wound. I always remember what Pope St. John Paul II said that the worst kind of prison, the worst kind of prison is to have the key that unlocks the door and refuse to use it. Think about that. When we have resentments, 
When we are unwilling to forgive, we are holding people hostage. We are in prison. Forgive them. We get set free. I've had more than one person tell me when I've led them through that simple little prayer, Father, I feel like a thousand pounds was lifted from my shoulders. When we will to forgive, Seven times. <laughs> 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 